And don't forget to subscribe to Bag O' Day Crochet. You can subscribe by clicking this red button right here. And don't forget to click this little bell right there next to it. That way you'll always be notified whenever Bag O' Day puts on a new video. Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this um, cowl slash shawl. You can make it a lot bigger than me and make it a very, oh I got it backwards, very very pretty shawl. But for tutorial purposes, so I could get started on another one, I cut it a little short and I made my cowl. But you definitely can do as many rows as you want to make it. I think it'll be a really pretty shawl, but that's what it kind of looks like. It's got ribbing, bobbles. I would consider this an intermediate pattern. So I don't know um, if it's super, like if you're a really, really super beginner, you might. I mean, you can always give it a try, but you got to know bobbles and you got to know how to do front post stitches and back post stitches and stuff like that. But I still got some tails to hide. I'll give you a quick measurement of mine from top corner to top corner it's 40 about 40 this bumbled up on me didn't it do it this way it's about 44 inches across and then from the bottom to the top corner is about 35. So remember, you make it as long as you want it. I mean, if you kept going with it, it'd be a super, super pretty shawl. But, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using a Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK. Now, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's classified as a lightweight three. In my personal opinion, I would consider it more of a sport weight, a number two. So it's like in between a two and a three. It's a very, very thin three if it is a three. So you do not have to use this yarn. Any two weight yarn or three weight yarn will work fine. I would imagine a four weight yarn will work, but I did not try that so I can't tell you for sure but I don't really see why it wouldn't um, but anyways this has um, it's a hundred percent low pill acrylic and there's 478 yards now for my size I went through one of these 478 yards and part of another one so I'm gonna say if you're making it my size you're probably gonna need about um, 575 yards now if you want to make it a big shawl you're probably going to need about double that. Okay? That's just an estimate, but that, that's what I would say. Um, and the color I'm using is called Dijon. Perfect, perfect name for that. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start off with a slip knot on our hook. Now don't be intimidated by this pattern. It's not hard once you get to going. Okay, I'm going to start off with a chain of four. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. And I'm going to chain one. Now, that chain one does not count as a stitch. So what I'm going to do is go right back in and put three double crochets into the center of the ring. So there's one, two, and three. And then I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to put three more doubles into the center of the ring. Oops. 
just like that. Now you can pull your tail, close that up. Okay, now that'll end row one and you'll have six stitches now. Now this chain two is the bottom point of the triangle shawl, okay? So now what we're gonna do for row two is we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to put three double crochets into the very first stitch. Now no matter what row you're on for the rest of the pattern, your first stitch always gets three double crochets. Always. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in each stitch until you get to your chain two space. And then in the chain two space, I'm going to work two double crochets. A chain of two. And then two more double crochets. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my last stitch. And when I get to my last stitch, I'm going to work three double crochets in it. Now, no matter what row you're on, your last stitch will always get three double crochets. So your first stitch always gets three doubles and your last stitch always gets three doubles, regardless of whatever row you're on. So that'll end row two. And now you'll have a total of 14 stitches. And then you'll have your chain two space down here. Okay, so row three is going to start the repeat rows. So rows three through eight are the repeat rows for the whole pattern. So it's a six row repeat. So row three, we will chain one and turn our work. Now we put three double crochets into the very first stitch. Always do that. Now the next stitch, we are gonna start out by working a back post double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go from the back around the post of the next stitch like that. Now the back of the post is on the back of your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and do a double crochet. So that's a back post double. Now the next stitch, we're going to do a front post double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over Go in around the post of the next stitch to where it's on the front of your hook. And then you do your double crochet. And that's kind of what we're going to repeat until we get to our chain two space. Back post double crochet. And front post double crochet. back post double crochet and then front post double crochet and you repeat that until you get to your chain two space when you get to your chain two space the last stitch before it should be a front post double crochet. And then we're going to work into the chain two space and we're going to work two double crochets. Chain of two and two more double crochets. 
like that. Now we're going to start again. Now since our last stitch over here was a front post double crochet, we're going to start here with a front post double crochet on our first stitch. And then back post double crochet. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get to our last stitch. Front post double crochet. And back post double crochet. Front post double crochet. And back post double crochet. So on round three here, or row three, your last stitch over here before you, the stitch before your last stitch should be a back post double crochet. Now we're going to end by putting three double crochets into our last stitch. And that will end round three. And you should have a total of 22 stitches. You should have eight more stitches than you did the previous row. Row four. We're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to start off by putting three double crochets into our very first stitch. And now we're going to start by putting a front post double crochet into the next stitch. And the next stitch will be a back post double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get to our chain two space. Back post double crochet. And a front post double crochet. And if you can look you can see that our posts are lining up just like they're supposed to. Back post double crochet. And front post double crochet. And we do this till we get to our chain two space. Now on row four here, your last stitch here before the chain two space should be a back post double crochet. Like that. And then we're going to go into the chain two space and we're going to work two double crochets. A chain of two and two more double crochets. And since we ended here with a back post double crochet on the last stitch before the chain two space, we're going to start here with a back post double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. And back post double crochet. And we're just going to repeat this until we get to our last stitch. Front post double crochet. And back post double. Front post double crochet. And back post. All the way until you get to your last stitch. Now the last stitch, the second to the last stitch, you should have had, should have ended in a front post double crochet on this round. And then you put three double crochets into the last stitch. And that will end a row four. And you should have a total 
of 30 stitches now. Eight more stitches than you did the previous round, pre previous row. So we're going to, for row five, we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to start off by putting three double crochets into our first stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, we're going to skip one stitch and double crochet into the next. We're going to chain one, skip one stitch, and double crochet into the next. And this is what we're going to repeat until we get to our chain two space. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, and then double into the next. All the way until you get to your chain two space. Okay, you should have ended here where there's a double crochet into the last stitch before the chain two space. Do not chain one after that. Just go directly into the chain two space and work two double crochets. A chain of two and two more double crochets. And now we're going to start off the same way we ended over here with a double crochet into the first stitch here and then we're going to start repeating by chaining one and skip one and double crochet into the next chain one skip one double crochet into the next and we repeat this until we get to our last stitch chain one skip one double crochet, chain one, skip one, and double, okay I'm coming to the end here, I have two stitches left, I want to chain one, skip one stitch, and in the last stitch I'm going to put three double crochets. And that will end round five. And you should have a total of 38 stitches on round five. Now that's eight more than what we had on the previous row. But what we're doing when we count the stitches on this time we're counting the chain spaces as a stitch two. So we got one, two, three, and then chain space is four, this would be five. Chain space is six, this would be seven. Chain space is eight, nine. All the way down, we do not count the chain two space. So 38 stitches counting every stitch plus counting the chain one spaces. That'll make it eight more stitches than the round before. So that'll end round five. Round six, we will chain one and turn our work. Now this is the bobble stitch round. So we're gonna go ahead and work three double crochets into the very first stitch. Now I'm gonna double crochet into the next stitch. The next stitch I am going to single crochet into. Now I'm going to be working into the chain one space and that's where I'm going to put my bobble stitch. Now this is how you do the bobble. I'm going to yarn over, go right through the space and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. I want to do that five times total. So that was number one. Again, yarn over, go through the same chain space draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops. So that's two times. Again, yarn over, 
same space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops. That's three times. Again, yarn over, go into the same space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops. That's four times. One more time, we're going to go yarn over and go into the same space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops. Now you'll have six loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all six loops. Give it a tug to pull it tight. And then we're going to single crochet into the next double crochet. Just like that. So right now we're on the back side of our work. But if you flip it over, there you will see your first bobble on the right side of your work. So that's what we're going to repeat until we get to our chain two space. So we're going to go ahead and bobble into the next chain one space. So we're going to yarn over, go into that space, draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops. Five times we want to do that. So that counts as number one. There's two. three, four, there's five, six loops that remain, yarn over and go through all six, pull it tight, and single crochet into the top of your next double crochet, just like that, and this is what we're going to repeat until we get to our chain two space. Again, we're going to bobble into the next chain space. Six loops on your hook, yarn over, go through all six, give it a tug to pull it tight, and single crochet into your next double crochet. So I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to my chain two space down here, and that's what it's starting to look like. Okay, I'm coming near my chain two space. So I did my last bobble here in this last chain one space. I want to single crochet into the next stitch, and then I'm going to bobble into the next double crochet. And then I will single crochet there into this last stitch before the chain two space. Now we're going to be working into the chain two space. So what we're going to do is in this chain two space, we are going to work a bobble. lost them all there we go and then we're going to work a single into the chain two space so that was a bobble and a single now we're going to chain two now working into the same space we're going to single crochet again and we're going to bobble again so you got to kind of slide them over that all this goes into the chain two space And then single crochet into this next stitch here. So in that chain two space, we have a bobble, single, chain two, single, bobble. That's all into that chain two space. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat what we did on the other side. Let's we'll see, we will bobble into the next stitch.
single into the next, and then bobble into the next chain space. And single into the next double crochet. So we're just going to repeat the bobble, bobble into the chain space and the single into the next double just like we did on the other side until we get up here to our last chain space. All right, I've made, I just did a bobble in my last chain space. I'm gonna single crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then I'm going to end by putting three double crochets into the last stitch. And that'll end row six. Now on your bobble stitch row, it will be extremely wavy. Like, it's not going to lay flat. It's going to look all funny. That's normal. Don't worry about that. It'll straighten out when we start putting more rows on it, okay? The next row will straighten out. But yes, you're not doing anything wrong if your bobbles are all wavy and stuff. That's just fine. So at the end of round six, you still should have eight more stitches than you did on the previous row. So you should have a total of 46 stitches. Now remember to count when you're counting the bobble stitch row count every stitch including the bobbles as one and the single crochets in between them remember when you get down here to the chain two space you got to count those two we did a bobble and a single and then we chain two which you don't count but then we did another single and a bobble so you should have a total of 46 stitches eight more you always have eight more stitches than you did the round before Okay, for round seven, we are going to chain one and turn our work. We are going to put three double crochets into the very first stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet into every stitch and on top of every bobble until we get to our chain two space. So make sure you get every stitch and when you get to the bobble you just single crochet if you kind of flip the bobble up you can see right there on top where you need to go into and double crochet and remember there's a single crochet that you got to go into in between every bobble and then on top of the bobble so we're just working one double crochet in every stitch and on top of every bobble until we get to our chain two space. All right, now when you get up here to where your chain two space is, you have to be very careful where you put your stitches. Okay, we're, we're in the chain two space. So you have to put one, make sure you get the one bobble, double crochet on top of that bobble, and then double crochet into that single. Now that was before the chain two space. Now right here is the chain two space. This is probably the hardest part of the whole pattern is making sure you get this right. Go into that chain two space and you work two doubles. Chain two and two more doubles into the same chain two space. 
it's just right here on this round these stitches they kind of try to hide from you and you have to make sure that you get them and now you put a double crochet into this single right here after the chain two space and then on top of the next bobble and then we just kind of repeat double crochet in every stitch and on top of every bobble until we get to our last stitch okay when you get to your last stitch right here you want to go ahead and put three double crochets into your last stitch and that will end round seven and you should have eight more stitches than the previous row and you should have 54 stitches now I get three in there just like that and you can probably tell that straightened out that bobble stitch row a little bit so it's not quite so wavy so row eight now is the final round of the repeat so we are going to chain one and turn we're going to put three double crochets into our very first stitch And then we're going to put one double crochet in every single stitch until we get to our chain two space. So round eight is one double in every stitch until we get to our first chain two space, or until we get to our chain two space down here. All right, I've made it to my chain two space. I'm just gonna go ahead and put two double crochets. Chain of two and two more double crochets into the same spot. And then I'm gonna start off again by putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my last stitch. All right, I've made it to my last stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and put three double crochets into my last stitch. And that will end around eight. And you should have a total of 62 stitches, which is eight more than the previous row. So that is what it is. That's the repeats, rows three through eight. You just keep repeating those uh, six, six rows until you get your towel or make it a shawl as long as you want it to be remember you will always have eight more stitches than you did the previous or uh, pre previous row now you do yours as long as you want you do not have to do it the same as me but if you would like to i have done a total of i have done a total of 31 uh rows what i did is i did a bobble row and then i ended with one row of just double crochet after that so 31 rows but remember you do as many as you like you wanted to make it it would be gorgeous as a great big shawl um or a cow like i have it and you can add fringe or whatever you want and then you just tie off and that's it. that's all there is to it I think it turned out really really pretty looks pretty nice so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um, if you notice in the picture I used a shawl pin and this came from Hobby Lobby this was gifted to me but it was from Hobby Lobby but you can do it you don't have to use that that's just if anybody asks where that came from that's where that came from um, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And if you look on the right-hand side of the screen right now, you will see um, a playlist of all my other shawls and cows in case you're interested in making some more or checking them out. You can always click on that. Um, but that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and have a good day.